Obsessed Movie Man here, and welcome to my show. Hi, I'm the Obsessed Movie Man here, OMM. OMM, welcome to the show. To the Today, show. we swapped seats. I'm in the same spot, though. So, so the, the obsessed... Speaking of Muppets. Speaking of Muppets, hey guys, did you see the adorable baby Yoda in The Mandalorian? No. Shouldn't we no talk one about... likes The Mandalorian. No one likes The Mandalorian. You know what's where it's at? The Star Wars sequel trilogy. Yeah. Holiday special, too. So, yeah, we're... Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> we're gonna be talking about the sequel trilogy, which I think... The first thing to say is, when the prequels were over, like, it can't get any worse than that. And then it did. I wanted to make a, a meme where it's Mickey getting electrocuted, and it's Palpatine saying to Mickey, you have paid the price for your lack of vision. Because that's exactly what happened. Learned that they had no- they had no- that. You know what, Tori? You made fun of my channel, so I'm gonna try Disney and put it right in front of you. I can't endorse that. <laughs> I got Disney Plus. You have paid the price for being a sellout. I got that force shield, whatever the fuck. The force healing. It's a like force block. Like I said, when the prequels came out, we were probably all thinking, you know what? It can't be worse than what George okay, did. I wanna, and then George and Lucas released. The I want to clarify. Movie. I don't know how you how old you guys were when the trilogy, the prequels. Not nine. What was? Um, I, first saw, I saw every single prequel in theater. I, I did too, but I just want to know how old we were. Middle school, around middle dude, school. Yeah. I was still in elementary school, so as a kid, I was still like, oh, this is still fine. I bought the toys. But, and, yeah. But more as I grow up, I more realize, oh yeah, the prequels are not that great. However. Oh. Quick summary, what did you think when Disney announced they were going to do a sequel trilogy? I was like, okay, cool, um, I guess. I just thought, oh I was boy, nervous. here we go again. Because the first <laughs> problem they made, which pissed off a lot of the community, was erasing the books and all the stuff that had happened. Because there was erased only... all the stuff with the golden blonde with the whole touch. Yeah, so basically it said none of this happened, so that already was strike one amongst hardcore Star Wars fans, and the people who have to read all the comics, play all the games, are like, none of this happened. But actually, to be fair, some of sucked. that was, yeah. All of it sucked. Why all did it written, suck? Because they were all written by different people. There like the no alternative cohesion. ending and uh, There was Revenge no cohesion at all. Like, so the Jedi kind of, yeah, someone put it in a video that the Jedi kind of contradict from story to story what they exactly did. Because it was all written by a hundred different people just yeah. writing books because they just handed out the license. Force Awakens came out and played it safe, and you know what, I can I, let it slide for that film. I said this is the apology movie. We're trying to sure, show you know, Star we can... Wars feels again, and it's exactly. not two hours and, of trade negotiations. And exactly, and gave more, some more pressure. Sorry, they, two and a half. <laughs> they, <laughs> they Sorry, they two hours forty minutes. They emphasized the practical effects in the marketing, even though there is CG. In hindsight, the Force, ships, Force sure. Awakens might be the most entertaining to watch, but that's mostly because but the story is nothing special in hindsight. But we'll get more into the overall story of the trilogy if we can. Brandon Tori Force Awakens. What, what first thoughts when you first saw it? Good. Really good. Now it's what do you think? <laughs> what do you think of it's it? It's still fine. It's yep. still good. It's not like It might be the it's funniest. Not, it, it is, yeah, but that's that whole Disney charm, honestly. Quick quips. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Quick quips. But I feel like with that one, it was just... I felt like with that, it's it's the whole Disney charm because they got Marvel and all that. And when they had the whole Marvel thing going on, it was all like, let's blend action with comedy. And I felt like that I was... Like the they released a Vine and it made $8 million in the first hour. Yeah. It was just, um, it was promoting the, it was a promoting an advertisement. It was just Finn turning on the lightsaber for the first time. Oh, yeah. That and it made $8 million. <laughs> I remember when, it first had, when the first trailer came out, there was already people bitching because Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Do you remember that? Everyone complaining about oh, the hills. I thought that was funny. Really? Darth Maul had a double edged lightsaber and people did complain about that. Originally, originally someone, people did complain. I saw people complain about that. Someone made a funny joke where it was like, how big can a lightsaber be compared to the size of someone's penis or something like that? Wasn't that Spaceballs? It's kind of like that, yeah, but it, they made it to where it's like, that was implied with the whole kind of I event. see that it's your Schwartz is as big as mine. Exactly. So, I mean, uh, Force Awakens, it was, it's not my absolute favorite Star Wars. What do you say of the sequel trilogy, though? Out of the sequel trilogy, it is the best one. And we'll get into why the brand. Do you have any more thoughts on Force? I think it's the second best one. Oh, what's the first best one? We'll talk about it. Okay, let's get into Last Jedi. The one that every this is the big. It wasn't. This is the one that I remember pissed a lot of people off. And if it wasn't the the attack on the 
resistance base because there were people saying that yeah, this shit wouldn't do that or this or that. Or the fact that oh. it, just, it destroyed their expectations. It's, yeah, their expectations is that Luke was gonna lay pipe across the galaxy like he did in the original. Yeah, all subvert expectations. Yeah, exactly. He was gonna, he was gonna fuck women all the time, just like he did all through the scale of G and kill all the insect people and stab the golden blob and have Mara Jade and and have thirty five kids um, become evil. And become the emperor and become the emperor. Okay, how about this? Is not exactly what happened. But when he, he throws his lightsaber away, I, I, like there was that moment that everyone, I saw one person. I remember hearing one person gasp. He's just staring at the camera, throws his lightsaber off, and I think the main problem was people thought that Luke, who never gave up on his father, the man who aided in a planet destroying a whole, they destroying a planet. He never gave up on his father, but then he's a small hit. Granted, there's a reason. They try to, they justify it, or they try to. Yeah, the whole movie. Yeah. This is the one you said you liked. Yeah, that's the best one. Sorry, what last Jedi? When I first saw it, I thought it was fine. The more I think about it, yeah, it's it's an, it's still okay. It's a little frustrating. I know it's frustrating, yeah. It's definitely frustrating with some parts, but again, I'm not one to like judge because I'm not like a hardcore Star Wars fan. I'm not watching the shows, I'm not reading the comics, I'm not reading the books. I go into the movies going, okay, whether I like it or not, it's still a Star Wars film. Did you think agree with what Mark, Mark Hamill's feelings towards what they do? Yeah, because that's that's the whole thing I'm going to talk about with the Rise of Skywalker. Because I, I think Rise of Skywalker is the worst one. Out of all of It oh. makes me appreciate Last Jedi a lot more. I think and that's that whole... The whole uh, J.J. Abrams party over or something like that. They had like some hashtag thing about that. I think there was actually I rewatched Last Jedi, and I think some of the ideas are good. I actually was okay with them killing Snoke. Now that I think about it, because yeah. Snoke was a character was something they were trying to go with a new emperor, and the fact they killed him off, I'm like, okay, this is like if Darth Vader became the end. The Do you remember in the Force Awakens where he was he was 20 feet tall and everyone thought everyone he was, thought he was 25 yeah. feet tall? And they were at the end of the, the episode nine, was gonna end with the lightsaber battle against a guy with a big ass lightsaber. No, see like, that? I, okay, I knew it was just a giant guy yeah. because they did the same thing in the first uh, A New Hope, where it's like a giant freaking emperor. Oh, I mean, yeah, but it was just a guy. It yeah. was just his face. It was just his that face. Was it was a woman with chimp eyes, but yeah. <laughs> and also, Kylo becoming an emperor is like, okay, what if Darth Vader, I'm not comparing Kylo to Darth Vader, I'm just saying. That's what the whole movie is. Actually, yeah. that's, what the, uh, that's what the whole movie is. But I actually like that, in for, going back to First Awakens briefly, I like, they even have a scene, you're afraid that you'll never measure up to Darth Vader. He's a fanboy, basically. The reveal that Ray's parents was no one Kind of actually is more interesting to be honest. They, they, because and instead then of doing why, instead of doing the whole movie, it's not just a family drama. Yeah, yes. because that's what all the Star Wars, that's the whole saga it's now. About and family. Yoda's discussion of failure. Failure. That's what, the theme of the movie. I I will say I agree with everyone. Canto Bite sucks. I hate the Canto Bite stuff, and Phasma just proved to be like a. That okay. You're trying, you're trying, you're trying to make Canto. Because, like, we'll get to Rise of Skywalker, but I was kind of hoping to see Phasma just show up in Rise of Skywalker again. And it's like, I'm not bad! Yeah, yeah exactly. But it, we'll get into that, but... Attach to the ceiling? The more, the more I really think about Last Jedi, the more I really think about, like, yeah, no one's gonna like it but in the beginning, but now everyone's gonna be, like, on board with it, with the idea. Because... Can we go into Rise of Skywalker? Oh, no, because I haven't talked yet. Yes, let's go into Because this, you know, this, this whole video is going to be just a hate Rise of Skywalker. Go, Brandon. Go. Uh, Alright, so Brandon. Um, um, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, no, no, what was your last song? Last Jedi. Um, last Jedi um, was a movie about failure and the fact that they go to Canto Bike, the whole movie. Is, is the gray area of Star Wars. They go to Canto Bight and you find out the guy who makes TIE Fighters makes the X-Wings. And it's almost okay. like the war is funded by one side. That, that, that is actually, yeah. I'll say with Benicio Del Toro, he actually does that. When I rewatched it, I did pay more attention to kind of what he was talking about. There's no good guys or bad, and that's kind of what he was doing. Oh, yeah. No, Even the whole I don't movie like, has been whole failing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, it's not a romp through a hundred places on the galaxy and you see a bunch of different alien creatures. It's a very compact story, and I think that's not what a lot of people wanted out of a Star I, Wars film. Right. If, if this film had not been attached to Star Wars, it's, it would have been an amazing yeah, film. That's actually a good point. Wow. And it has all these preconceptions. Everyone went in thinking um, Snoke was going to kill Leia and that um, Luke was going to save okay. the day. Sorry. One last thing I'll say, and my three thoughts on Last Jedi again. Um, I don't really, I, it, I'm indifferent to it, but I'll just say Leia flying in space. Is well, that makes sense. It makes sense because they did it um, in Clone Wars. And yeah, well, it's, it was so weird okay. then. Because it's very, I can't really shot. I've never seen the shows, but it made sense to me in Nine how that was happening because of what Nine was gonna do. Final thoughts about Last Jedi. It that. was very. I rewatched it before I went to see the, the Red Skywalker. Your favorite. And it's very devastating. It's a very devastating film. Like there's no one coming to save the day. Like no, no one. Like when they call for help. No, there's good. There's they they try. They, they call for help and then no one shows no up. No one shows up. And, and it's they just so line up and like we're gonna kill all of you. And it's completely different from I like, think in I think in time And then it's worse than Empire. In I, Empire they like, escaped the middle of the sky. Yeah, so I remember and they lose Han Solo because he didn't want to come back. And so it took him and and <laughs> I think Last Jedi, I remember really hating it. Like, you I did. did? I did. I hated Last Jedi, but I think in time, I knew it's kind of, I kind of, um, what's the words? It's also, I kind of got thrown soft for it, and I think in time people will probably see it's not as bad as what, like, what it's a very saying. homaging movie. Um, a lot of the shots are taken out or mirroring just other shots across the entire time. I'm gonna take Tori off the leash now. Rise of Skywalker, go! I fucking hated it. There are some things that I knew going into that they had to fix because they had to do the whole Last Jedi thing. So J.J. Abrams had one way of going. But then who did that? Johnson went completely south. Don't worry, I have a great and writer. Then, and then J.J. Abrams said, 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 No! I'm gonna make eight and nine and push him to so, get I'm gonna bring Batman v Superman Justice League writer into this. Yeah, so... Every movie okay. Is <laughs> well, every movie Chris Carino's ever been attached to is is, is bad, and everyone wants to be excited about The problem. Okay, so the difference between Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker was because I knew going into eight that they're gonna end off with some kind of like cliffhanger, and they kind of did in a way. But with nine, they had a big so big much because there's so many things in that that they were on the bike. And I the I remember going in and. I, I felt like I had to peel the band. Did it feel <laughs> weird how it began? Like, yeah. Just the beginning felt like it was like... It's column one after yeah. Palpatine, man. It's already... Now, you know, I was just thinking this. I'm gonna say it quickly, sorry, and I'll give it back to you, Troy, I promise. This felt worse than Shredder meeting Krang. <laughs> Remember when we watched that clip where Sh Krang is like, you will bring the Chuck No Drill. I'm interested. Like that kind of just how they first meet, how quick that is. You know what the is? opening call of a Star Wars movie where they where they Death establish speed. how the world Death is? Speed. Where they establish how the world is and don't tell you anything about the plot. Yeah. And then this one they're like, yeah, we're already um, it's already started, you're missing it. Yeah, you like, missed the entire first time. <laughs> no, while, while we're paying attention to the crawl, there's like some fight did, going on that's not even did, like on did, screen. Apparently that was Mustafar? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Was that. Yeah, it was Yeah, it didn't look like Mustafar. I didn't Because you didn't Mustafar. play the VR game. Oh, yeah, for, did it for. Wasn't it? Hit, pal, I heard Palpatine's speech was apparently on Fortnite or something. Whoa! Ah, did you hear yeah. this? No. Yeah. When they said the dead speak, Palpatine's gum is alive and his broadcast domestic across the galaxy was on the Star Wars website. And then played again in the fourth. So night. that was like Along a Ridley Scott thing. That's like Ridley Scott for Alien Covenant, where you have those two scenes you have to watch online before seeing Alien Covenant. Sorry, Tori, go back but to I your have, hate, your I love have, of Rise of Scott. I Mark. have so much to talk you about. This. They got rid of Kelly Marie Tran. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care about that. But, but I don't. What I do care is when you're the doing. The <laughs> movie. Sadly, Rise of Skywalker had more just straight up Muppets than ever. Every other Star Wars movie. What was his name? Babu. Babu Free. Babu Free. I like, I like Claude. Him. But that's the only woman. good thing I'll say about this film. Go, go, go. The, just the big ass snake from Indiana Jones the Ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Maybe that. Maybe it was, and it went when Indiana Jones. You Jones forgot was... about that? Yeah, the, the Indiana Jones. It set, up, it set up the Force healing, which was why Indy um, Mandalorian Episode 7 was released in the States. Oh, let him go, let him go. But anyways, when I first watched these, I'm like, okay, hopefully these characters will progress. 
Po, Ray, Finn. No progression. Well, they At went, all. Well, Ray's progression, they went backwards. They, they, they started no, backpedaling no, on Ray's progression. She did not backpedal. She, she, she was like Mary Sue at the end of the movie. Uh, she's kind of a Mary Sue in Re Last Jedi. Oh, no, she's a fucking Mary Sue. No, in, in The Last Jedi, they pointed out, she's like, oh, you have no parents. Um, and she accepted that by the end of the movie. She's like, oh, I'm right. my own person. Oh, right. I I've learned who you are. I learned who you nothing. actually are. You're actually. But you actually are. You're nothing. But wait, I've realized you're. We'll get into that. Yeah, thank you. Let's well, save that for life. Well, I, I will say a couple of good things. Go ahead. I will say a couple of good things. I do like the Muppets. Bubble Freak. Bubble Freak. Bubble Freak. Bubble Freak. Everyone like Freak. Freak. He's funny. I, I like his little thing. I do think Kylo Ren is a much better written character. Kylo Ren has the most consistent arc. Of a whole sequel trilogy. Yes. Yes. He is and is the best character. And that's the one people and thought was going to be just be Alice Driver's fault being how good of an actor he is. I for I was like, wow, okay. Kylo Ren's in Everything that they everything about Rise of Skywalker when they built on The Last Jedi was good. And then every time they backpedal, literally almost literally like Abrams on a little bicycle going backwards. Yeah. Can I say spoilers? Yes, like, spoilers, the big one. The there's big the dark saber. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> There's the yellow saber. Alright, good. It's made out of her staff! Anyway. Okay. This is all fucking fan fiction. Bullshit coming up. Because well, it's almost like they. Oh, you're my, you're my mother was the, my mother was the, the daughter Vader. of Vader, no, was, and your parents are part of the fucking Palpatine. She's a Palpatine. Uh oh, which, family drama. Which apparently uh, there, was, there was a deleted scene. Apparently, explaining not only. No way. No, there was only a deleted scene explaining how he survived. They didn't even explain who he had a relationship with. So I thought that. that Guy in episode six with the purple hat. <laughs> the uh, purple so, hat. I they were followers of the Sith. Her purple cat. It's like how they hooked them up to the ceiling. I uh, it's true. Just like <laughs> the idea, the idea that someone wants to have. <laughs> That's true. I get the how did, get the light get the, <laughs> the lighting technician out. We gotta hook the man up to the ceiling. <laughs> what is? So, how big is the no, entire no, movie? He's no attached to the point. ceiling. Oh. How did they get him up there? I'm picturing Ian, Ian McDermott, we're gonna- Oh god, no. Oh Cause now he's literally old enough to play Palpatine, like he yeah. did Return of the Jedi. Like, oh he god. didn't oh. look anything like Palpatine. He's blind like for some reason. reason. I, okay, and then another, I would say another positive With thing. Bad. I do like that setting, that Palpatine, that whole temple. Because that is, that's all- Ralph McQuarrie or wasn't it? I love that. Ralph yeah, like everything and in I The thought, Force Awakens was, and everything The Last the Jedi was it. That shit part was the fact that there was a- it felt like a cult. It was a cult. This I like the lights. I don't know what the Do you like the snooks in the jar? That was funny. Do you like the monkey that fixes color and stuff? Yeah. Because that was the other. That was hilarious. That was the. What was the monkey supposed to be? But anyway, it was I don't. But we're supposed to take it off. As much as I can remember from Rise of Skywalker, there's another scene. I've been here. We're talking about this in the car on the way here. Is the fact that when. She burns the place down again, the temple or something, and she throws the lightsaber. And Mark, and Mark Hall, and she's like, "You should never throw away a lightsaber." And I'm like, "Dude, you just fucking contradicted yourself." Because then well, he the lets her and then he makes the X-wing fly, which was broken, and that's why he teleported himself in the last. Time. This is why. She gets his so it shits on Luke like too. She's on taking the shit. shit on Luke too. It's not just taking a sh take a shit on every character. It takes a big shit on. He's like. I, so I, I realized the movie was done with pre-production when they had started shooting, and Carrie Fisher passed, and, and they had like to the, rewrite everything. I will say that they did three months. They did not move the I, release date. I don't know how you could have made it any better because you, they had like what eight minutes of film to work. I'm fine with, with that. No, they had zero minutes of film no. that they filmed with her. Everything. No, I'm not saying they had eight. Eight they had eight of minutes of deleted scenes from The Force Awakens, and, I, and that was it. And you could see the body dub when they had to use a body double. But yeah. I think they had. And she said one line, and someone had to explain to her. But they didn't move the date of the movie up. Can someone explain? One there, um, she died. They, they just had to rush it. They cr did a crunch. The I animators did a crunch, and the whole script had to be rewritten. I'm gonna put crunch. some of the blame on. She was sorry. supposed to be the one. See, I, I'm going, going to uh, put some of the blame on most of the blame on Kathleen she Kennedy. Did. J.J. Abrams and possibly Bob Iger if he gave it because he probably he gave the go ahead for the release date probably didn't he? Well, they clicked like, the Frozen too. You know, you should know it's right. He's your boss. No, he's not. 
I'm not a boss at anyone but myself. Another problem I had, so how did they get Harrison Ford back? <laughs> they won't come out of the up. No. Because if you saw the movie, he didn't cut his hair. They asked him to cut his hair so he looked more like Alex Awakens. Hey, he said, stop no drinking! Thanks. Wake up! Uh, I'm so, no so I, was, I was, This is literally Pa Kent from Batman v Superman. I thought that was funny. Yeah, but Kevin like, Costner had nothing to do with their kid. And he just like shows up and his hair's all messed up. And I'm like, yeah, they just won't. Were you mad that they brought him back because he's not a force ghost? They didn't even. Sh I don't know what it was. I guess it was his mind because he wasn't. Yeah, he was, you said you're uh, your memory. Yeah. And you're not even real. And it's, because they redid nice. the whole entire thing of uh, Force Awakens except for the part that they cool. stopped. That was the Harrison Force stuff. Was one of the best scenes though. Because it's heard Kylo Ren character development. Yeah. Adam Driver actually is kind of what saves this friend. Not he can't save it, but he's. He is at like first. I hated him. I remember you did. I hated him at first, but then he's a whiny bitch. Yeah, that was the point. And then he got better. <laughs> yeah. He got much better. Than and that's all. Like the Brandon, point. like Brandon said, oh. it's the accident. Oh, go ahead. Boy. Can we talk about Raylo? No. Uh, go ahead, because I know that's a thing. No, because otherwise this video is going to get taken down. There's this uh, in the theater that I went to go see it with. Uh, this was the first time I saw it, but I've only. Heard rumors about Why it. Why do people hate this so much? I don't care either way. I really do. I, well, actually, I don't care I don't, about romance. I, I was kind of confused because I'm like, aren't they second cousins at that point? I don't get how it works because isn't Palpatine sort of Anakin's father? Kind of. Kind of, but they're cousins, maybe? I don't know. We're in the southern version of the galaxy. Oh. Pretty much. Kylo and Ray kiss. Yeah. And everyone at my theater was flipping their heads. Everyone, yeah. everyone clapped when they did. I, yeah. I, I was just <laughs> like, <laughs> and then he immediately force goes. Let's also no talk about lines. also the last the line, last line, which I I've seen a video where people were booing this at the theater. I was kind of just like, okay, I don't get it. Whatever. I mean, no, I know. She but. takes the name Skywalker, but it's like, it's just whatever. I'm, you said she took her solo because she had no fan. Yeah, I was I was gonna say like. Ray, Ray who? Ray Solo. I mean, Ray Palpatine. Ray ends with the Han Solo song from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. My bit, one of my biggest problems was the fact that Palpatine was alive, and I love Palpatine. I love Ian McDermott as but the problem is he was they got, Why you complain about how they got rid of Legends, and then you complain about how he Palpatine boring. got back just like in every Legends? Book. I never liked that in Legends. I've never, times. I've never because the say what you will about George's balance to the Force. George you know, did it, had but, nothing to do with the entire universe but, whatsoever. Let me just no, I'm talking about the six films that George Lucas helped create. I'm he set. crapped create three films. Yeah, he created four. Four. Let me just I say No, the two others. Let, me, was the let me just say this. Despite the whole balance of the force meeting just eliminating the other half, his whole story was the tragedy or redemption of Andy Darth, Darth Vader. <laughs> that was your that favorite. Was, one and so that was Skywalker was but that was the yeah. whole point of the of hit George's saga. And so bringing Palpatine back is basically saying, oh, Rey's the chosen one, or it's kind of, un it undermines Return of the Jedi. It yeah, does. but I guess who undermines Return of the Jedi first? George. Ahsoka Tana. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As if some Jedi's bopping around the universe, fucking around. Well, she's probably. Then, uh, fucking around and more powerful than Luke, then she undermines it before. We don't know when she died. No, because Daisy Lona said she didn't know. die. And she so or she said she is dead. She, but because she, she didn't, do, because the last episode of Rebels shows her show. They time traveled her out, and the last this episode of Rebels anything. shows her up. Um, she shows up after the so Empire defeated Episode out. Six, and she's still alive. I we all disagree. We all agree to disagree. You agree to disagree about your fourteen-year-old in a bikini and a miniskirt. That Tori basically. She, there's some Clone Wars characters. There's some Clone Wars characters who have voice cameos in the film. I know one of them is Ahsoka. I know the whole. One of them is Sam Jackson Junior from Scooby Doo. Yeah, you hear Sam Jackson. You Rise of Skywalker is a yeah, big, is a big match. Christmas, it says bring balance to the Force that I did. See, that makes no, that makes no sense then. Yeah, because Rise bring from right. I watched with a friend. They've never seen Empire Strikes Back, and when Yoda says the line, there is another, she was like, Oh, does that mean Rey? I don't know if that's what they were going for now. No, it that wasn't at all, because it wasn't even Leia. No, they, did they mean Leia originally? No, there was, an, in the same movie, there was an incest kiss. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because they were not related. Because George, even though George always says, this is the way I originally, I had the Yeah, whole because he didn't have a plan at all. Our original oh my god, that's the same goddamn thing <laughs> they had! <laughs> 
What's up, Brandon? Do you want to so it's the same thing again. No one had a plan at all. What if it turned out? So it doesn't matter if it's bad or not. It's the same thing again. That kind of brings You're up. You're telling me the old guy in the movie didn't like the movie? Then I got a guy for you. His name is Alec Guinness. Oh, this is and he threw away all the mail he got that said anything about Obi Wan. You, you see, this was like poetry. It rhymes. Yes, it's, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Speaking of poetry, and yeah, George Lucas was <laughs> and George Lucas wasn't even talking about the films. He was talking about in real life. I think that's where we're gonna end it because we segue to how the original trilogy wasn't planned out and how this series was not planned out. I liked engine. Rise of Skywalker. Oh. They're all <laughs> garbage. Every Star Wars movie is garbage. This is an really? Oscar bait. Really? Yeah, Every Star Wars movie effects. They get visual effects awards and that hey, is it. Hey, Sound and hey. This is Star the Trek. The special is amazing. How dare you, sir? It is. B. Arthur's a treasure. How, my <laughs> life day is now canon. Thank I know, you, Matt Lorraine. I know. That's right. <laughs> I forgot John about Favreau. I know. They set it up at Disneyland this year. They had a whole thing. I quit. I know. I'm, I'm John Favreau. You're favorite for the Mandalorians making another holiday special, so. I'm fine with that, but I'm done with Star Wars. After You're done with of, Star Wars? After Rise of Skywalker, I'm just like, listen, I'll watch well, Mandalorian. Movies now? I don't even watch Marvel movies anymore. Bullshit. So, in closing, um, um, the Star Wars movies are bad and they've always been bad. Yeah. Tori, out of all the trilogies, is this the worst or would you say the prequels are the worst? This is, uh, the prequels are because the worst. I think the prequels uh, are at the least worst. these are Star Wars movies and uh, uh, um, a commentary on the Iraqi war. Say what war. you will, uh, say what you will about the prequels. Say what you will, but... Um, the first one's about trade negotiations, the second one's about lovey-dovey, and then the third one combines them no, both the for the one, worst no, of the all. No, the second one is Twilight. Again, again, worst again say what you and will... And the third one's both at the same time. Yeah, go ahead. Say what you will about when George... They shot it on the... Oh, they oh, shot oh, the oh. fucking whole attack of the clones on basically the... Oh, let Tori speak. Let Tori speak. Say what you will about the prequels. Say what you will about what George was trying to do. They're not comedies. I, I know they're not comedies, but Fire. say what you will. <laughs> say what you will about them. But the problem with... The, the thing with Star Wars is... When he write, when George wrote the trilogy, the original trilogy, that was a plan. He also had a plan. Yeah, and then he, he also had, had a plan for the original trilogy, and he had people come in and say, "No, bad, bad. <laughs> you have to let me do finish. That. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> say what you will about Lucas and the prequels, because I feel like Lucas tried. Lucas did with he tried with." One, two, and three, he actually tried. I know you guys don't agree with me, but he did. Look back at it, because right now I am so sick and tired of trying. My favorite it. part is when he tried because they all shot out a, a green screen with a hand cam. They shot out a green screen with a hand cam on this one too! Um, <laughs> no, so they right. shot out a green screen with red cam. Do you really think that they went out into the middle of the fucking ocean to go shoot a lightsaber battle? Yeah, they the did! Thing. Where Herzog demanded it, he had some Yeah, but they went to a whole- they went to the middle of the goddamn desert and put a bunch of actors in heavy ass- No, I get that, but when there's like that's just the, the big battle- between But that's nothing but Attack of the Clones had no physical sets. That was a race. At least, at least Van Menace had physical sets. Brandon, Brandon, do you want to learn so what's the worst trilogy though? No, actually, Tori, you never asked. You guys are gonna come in. Um, I'm getting rid of my sequel trilogy. I'm done with them. The worst trilogy is the Star Wars stories. Oh, the Mandalorian Solo and Rogue One. No, Solo and Rogue One, I would say. No, because no, Mandalorian's bad because it has Actually, Solo I will say, the worst to. one is uh, the Clone Wars movie that came out. Well, I don't know. I'm going with like yeah. which trilogy, the prequel trilogy, the trilogy. Brandon, which trilogy? There's a prequel. Oh god, I have to break the tie. Oh, no pressure whatsoever. I'd like to point out I like the new ride at Disneyland makes the, the original trilogy makes the prequel. Oh, oh fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm changing my vote to the original trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing hey, my there, vote. There's no Star Tours and they were no longer canon. Oh no. I'm changing it to the, um, the original trilogy because they were bad and slow. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they're, they're so boring. They're so boring. They're boring. They have no and they have teddy bears. <laughs> and the first movie didn't even have any lightsaber. And fights. their holiday special sucks. There was only they cut off a hand, and I'm very offended. By Actually, that. no. Why uh, is there sound in space? The worst. The, the worst trilogy is the Ewok specials. There you go. Or the droids okay. specials. I'm gonna say. Oh dear God. Oh, don't make me choose.
you. Because so I'm gonna say the prequels were all bad. The prequels were at least consistent. They're they were bad. bad, but they were consistent in their tone and characters. And I agree with you. Give the it story. 20 years. Yeah. Give it 20 years. You'll like so I'm putting it back. Too. You know what? I'm putting it back in the oven. I'm just gonna wait. Wait 20 years and be like, they're yeah. all good. And then this memes, memes, uh, memes. Yeah. Memes. That, that's what the Star Wars trilogy is. You put it back in the oven for 20 years and it's good. It's a meme will And then it gets bad again and then the new ones are good. Wait, so what is your answer? Are you just not gonna answer it or? Yes. My answer is yes. Well, that's a great episode. No, I said I'm. I think actually I was more. <laughs> oh dear God. I was gonna say they're both terrible. Both of them. Because all both three. <laughs> Go the gambit. All three. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these two. Attack of the Clones and Rise of Skywalker, I both thoroughly hate. Rise of Skywalker is better than Attack of the Clones. Uh, yeah, true. That's fine. That is true. But, but, also, but it goes back around to being equally terrible with probably one of, if not the worst romances I've ever seen on film. Ever. Or at least term written. Actors yes, but here's a new thing about Star Wars. Yes. What you do is you re-release it and then CGI out the bad parts. Or you and you can do that for the entire sequel trilogy too. It's not the first time they've done that. Sorry, you can't. They can release an extended cut and yeah. put a, a hundred womp rats in the cut, dude. You see, who knows? Maybe the reason why I think the prequel trilogy, I like it more, is because of the fact that it tells the story of Anakin. And you don't really have to... I like when the little boy... You don't have to go like the little to boy and then to kill a bunch of people. You don't have to go to the sequel trilogy to finish it. You could stay with one through six. You don't have to go to seven through nine. Seven through nine feels like an expansion. You could say the same shit about the original though. You could just watch that and not go through seven through nine and I'll watch right. through three. Right, but you don't have to go that's the same thing as like you go four, four through six. You you don't really have to go to one through three unless you really want to go. But I could yeah. also but Force Awakens is a soft reboot, so I could just watch seven through nine. Then watch seven through nine. I don't fuck. I don't want to watch it anymore. Though. I think we've that's enough Star Wars for today, as I have a saying this while Kylo Ren's Lego shuttle is right in front of us. Buy more. Buy, buy more. Buy our Babu Frick. Oh, oh there that right. pointless droid. That pointless droid that was there just for toy oh, purposes. That, that sir, that's no. JJ Abrams. Yeah, of course it was. I know. Oh, JJ Abrams can be on C3PO now. Why How you dare you? Why do you hate he's him? just annoying. He's the best That's character the in that movie. No, but he's, he's the like second best annoying. character in that movie. He's very annoying. You know, he's I the second be best character in that movie. My last criticism, it doesn't take risks. Chewing C3PO should have died. This was, you're going all out. They should have blown up the They should have put a bomb. They should have, yeah, they should have put a bomb in R2D2 and dropped him on the Wow! With Give him a real death. His <laughs> R2-D2 wasn't in the movie anyway. Yeah, he wasn't really doing anything in any of the trilogy. So just put honestly. a bomb in him. He honestly didn't do really anything in the, tril in the he, trilogy. Yeah, he did the first one. He had a whole scene. Yeah, he had the he had the second piece of the puzzle. Or whatever. The MacGuffin puzzle. Yeah, yeah and can T um fix the ship J J in, in, the four, in the Fort Phantom Menace and then in, um. JJ he, um, loves um, his MacGuffin. Was in the desert. JJ yeah. yeah. loves his MacGuffin puffins. I'm out. All right, so I'm done. Um, shout out to John Williams. I hate yeah. Star Wars. Um, um, can Darth Maul come Star back? Star Wars. Yeah, he is. He's getting a Disney Plus series. Don't ask for things you don't want. Oh, we saw a big doo doo this time.